What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 6 of Wednesday. So, last episode, Wednesday and her family went to family therapy where she actually con like confronted them about like this murder that happened a long time ago and it took a while for like the actual story to come to light but it turns out that the dad actually took the fall for Morticia since, you know, dude walked into her sword but he was also already poisoned with nightshade poisoning which means he was gonna die anyway so you know but I, we also found out that Eugene is still alive and I'm still kind of surprised by that but he's in a coma so hopefully he wakes up soon maybe he wakes up in this episode I don't know but we'll see so let's get into the episode In case you're wondering, I don't hold seances very often. I can barely tolerate the living. <laughs> so it wasn't goody. <laughs> I doubt she communicates in magazine cutouts. So who's randomly gonna like just send her that message? And of course Enid's gonna go with her, okay. Seems like our wannabe deep throat is already here. Ew. What died? Smells like childhood. God damn. <laughs> Enid? Enid stayed outside. So how would it be her? Whoever you are, show yourself. Try anything and you'll lose limbs. Surprise! They didn't want to lose their limbs. It's her birthday? Okay. <laughs> this thing's hat. <laughs> Do you not understand? I thought my cake design was pretty inspired. The pink balloon was my little touch. Why don't you make a wish? Watch her wish for that monster to be caught or whatever. The first part of that phrase was burned on an Evermore's lawn. It can't be a coincidence. Wait, we're never eating that cake, are we? He's worried about the cake. I would be too. Everyone loves cake. Well, that was different. And now Goody decides to come to light? Is that her? You end up alone, unable to trust others. Only seeing the darkness within them. Is that supposed to scare me? It should. It won't. She doesn't really scare easily. I believe everyone deserves to be celebrated on their birthday. I prefer to be vilified. What happened? It looked like you were having a seizure. I wasn't that lucky. Oh yeah, no one really knows about her visions. You're ever doubting mother and father. They asked thing to hide it before they left on parents weekend. Ew, that's so gross. I would have preferred live squirrels. <laughs> they really got... What the fuck? Do you like it? What is it exactly? It's a snood, silly. I made it in your signature color. A what? I have one too. Of course you do. A scarf. Fine. He does his community service here, and we forget it ever happened. Yes, well. 
What if he does something else somehow? Like, I don't know if he should just do community service there. Last night in the crypt, you had another vision, didn't you? I didn't realize we were back on speaking terms. I showed up to your surprise party. I figured that would have been a hint. But why the sudden random, like, want to talk to her again? You still think I'm the monster? Haven't ruled it out. Yeah, well, when you change your mind and you want my help, you know where to find me. You need to give her more of a reason not to think you are the monster. Because, yeah, you are kind of skeptical, but I still think it would be too obvious to be him, so... Guessing that's not a compliment. What do you care anyway? I'm trying not to turn into my mother. She's like the ghost of bitchiness future. Makes sense, but isn't the, well, is the school year about to be over? Because she is going back. Besides, my parents always made sure my birthdays were memorable. Perfect surprise. What kind of shit is that? She's dark, so of course she would like it. It all feels so trivial. Goody warned me I was destined to be alone and that I'd be sorry for it. Of course she's talking to Eugene. And he's still in a coma. I want to assure you I remain as cold and heartless as the first day we met. I doubt a cold, heartless person would be sitting by her friend's bedside feeling some modicum of guilt for his condition. She ain't wrong about that. Why is he looking at her death certificate? If she ends up not dead, I swear. This one just comes with cake and a bad song. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So if I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? Yes. Say yes. I have a tight deadline. Emphasis on dead. Man, why? Okay, did, did I do something? I just feel like ever since the raven, you've kind of been ghosting me. Am I wrong? Why would she be ghosting him? I thought... In a way, I thought she did kind of like someone like him. What kind of painting are you doing? When did you draw this? So he has seen the gate. So it's like they're somewhat kind of seeing the same thing. But it's like, so it has to be maybe someone they know. Do you know where this is? It's the old gate's mansion. I pass it when I go running. The old Gates Mansion. He painted her. Okay, that's cute. I can tell how you get lost in the music. I feel like it's the only time I get to see the real you. That was actually really cool. And they're cute. It's like. It's so hard to not like him or Tyler. Uh, could you do me a favor? Wednesday forgot this. Could you give it back to her? Birthday gift from Enid. Aren't you a boyfriend? Definitely not. <laughs> Awkward. It would be weird. Well, maybe it wouldn't be weird if they started dating, but at the moment it kind of seems like she wouldn't. But then after we did it, kind of felt like crap. I realized I needed to wipe the board, you know? Start over. If that makes any sense. 
I never thought that they would like confide in each other in a way, but I actually, I actually dig their friendship. He's got to be hiding something in there or something. Like, why would he randomly be back at that place? Because like he did also just pull her file. I was about to be like, if she leaves thing behind, I'd feel so bad. <laughs> Who's randomly hitting the man with the car? Maybe they saw him go back to the house. Maybe something is like a... But then also maybe he doesn't know about it. I don't know. Everyone. What were you doing in the back of the mayor's SUV? I saw him coming out of the Gates Mansion. Gates Mansion. What the hell were you doing there? House hunting. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but when someone is run over on the way to give the police key information, it usually means they were onto something. And all signs point to the Gates family in that house. He has to start checking something out because it's like, yeah, they're said to be dead, but... Bookshelf and thought of you. Mary Shelley wrote it on a dare when she was only 19. I know. She's both my literary hero and nemesis. <laughs> if you continue to defy her... So you're only looking out for my best interests? Always. I think we're a lot alike. We aren't. I feel like she's... Why is she... She seems to be kind of just pushing her away from the situation, but why? At first, I kind of thought she might be the type of person to, like, maybe encourage her to go after it in a way, but now it's like... I've reconsidered your offer. My offer? The non-birthday dinner. Really? That's great, um... She's only doing that to get out the house. I can't deal with this right now. I gotta get to the hospital, I gotta check on the mayor. Be home before curfew. Did you ever even love her? What the hell was that moment? It kind of had like a, a sound effect on him as he was looking at his dad. How about I say I'm about to wolf out and get a pass to the Lupin cages and say so you volunteered to lock me in? My deviousness has finally rubbed off on you. <laughs> I thought she was just about to go with Tyler. Or was that like the next day? Gee. <laughs> okay then. Wait, where the hell's Enid? Did she actually lock her in there? Wait. There she is. You guys in here? Listen, I know you're still mad about the painting, okay? But I just want to talk to you for a second. Why are you, like, outside her damn window thing? Why didn't you go to the door? Seriously? You want to go in there? This place is creepy AF. I know. I kind of feel bad that she's using them, like... This is pointless. Can I try? She is the werewolf. Let's see what she got. And there you go. She's strong. They're all long gone. So the question is... Why did Goody lead me here? Maybe she's trying to say Laurel is somehow alive. Then who would she be? 
out of the blondes of the show, there's the principal and there's the therapist. Who are we gonna go with? Where the hell's Tyler? Did he just randomly go off somewhere? There's only one room that looks perfectly fine. Who the hell has been living there? LG. Those flowers. Those flowers look like the same flowers that the lady, the therapist, left for Eugene. The dumb waiter, go! How is that thing, again, how is it everywhere she ends up being? The only people who knew they were going there was Enid and Tyler. No, 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 not Stop. We heard Tyler before everything. And now where is he? She got a face in there. So does that mean therapist is a killer? Do we? These are the body parts missing from the monster's victims. Come on. <laughs> Maybe she's working with the monster. Because how else would the monster like why would the monster go there? He has no reason to. Enid, hold this. The thing is still inside. You're hurt. Can you walk? Where'd you come from? Here, take this. Of course, Xavier comes out of nowhere. But question though, monster usually like fucks up anyone who like go he goes after. And the only one who ended up surviving was Eugene, and Eugene is in a coma. So why the hell is Tyler barely even hurt? He's a normie, you know? How is he not somehow dead? The, the, the body parts, and the blue Cadillac, the altar, and the bedroom filled with fresh roses. Oh, well, it's all gone now. How the hell would it be gone so fast? From this point forward, you are forbidden from seeing Tyler, and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case. Understood? I'm sorry. She's kind of helping you do your job, though. But yeah, she did kind of put them in danger. No less. I think I deserve another chance. Please. She never says please, so that's something. Where are you going? Yoko's room. Thornhill said I could crash there for a few nights. She's mad at Wednesday. Night was just the icing on the birthday cake you couldn't even be bothered to cut. You will use anyone to get what you want, even if it means putting them in danger. She's not lying. I. I feel bad that she used them, especially for this kind of shit. I mean, she's barely had friends growing up anyway, so it's, it is all kind of new to her, but still, it was, it was fucked up how she used them like that. Watching me. Oh shit, oh shit, is it pictures? They've been watching her. They were there that earlier that night. Know this. I will find you. Okay, okay. This whole thing. 
it's like I don't I don't know where to start with this. The Laurel Gates girl, the sister or whatever, she has to be the therapist. The flowers were the same, like the ones that she gave Eugene, the ones that were in the room. Gotta be her. Two. What's his name? Why is Tyler not dead? Because like I said earlier, anyone else who came in contact with the monster ended up dead besides Eugene. Eugene is in a freaking coma. And Tyler gets a scratch? I don't think that's right. I don't know. Like, I don't know what it could be. Could it be him? Could he be the monster? If he ends up being the monster, does he have motive? It's like he's he doesn't have like specific people he's going after whenever he kills. But it's also like... I don't know. He is a damaged kid who is like, like getting child neglect from or whatever because his father barely talks to him and doesn't want to talk about his mom and shit. So he has pro- like childhood trauma, but is that enough for like that to be the monster? I don't know. It's just also... And then I feel like there's something weird with the teacher lady, like Christina Ritchie. I feel like there's something weird with her now. Because again, like I said earlier, I thought she would be the type of person to maybe, in a way, push Wednesday to go, like, forward with the stuff, even though, like, everyone else is, like, telling her to lay off of it. But it seemed like she was on Wednesday's side at first, but then now she's, it's like she's getting too close, so now she wants her to stop could she be in with the monster but then i thought maybe the laurel gates person was involved with the monster since like the monsters like victims body parts and shit was at the bottom of her house like there's so much and it's like why would they even work together why i don't know there's still like so much that needs to be answered and we have like what two episodes left right after they got out of that house you know they went look for tyler and they found tyler you know who just walked up xavier and i feel like that's another reason like they're trying to pin that he is the monster and i still don't think it is because they're trying to make it obvious they have been trying to do that since like the f- like first few episodes. So it's like I still don't think it's him because it's too obvious. But then it is kind of still weird. So maybe he could still be a suspect. Like there's two suspects for the monster. And I it's a definite that that therapist has to be the damn lady like Laurel like But then I just want to know about, like, Christina Christina Ritchie. Like, what's up with her? She was cool at first, and now she's kind of sketchy. We'll see. But now the mayor's dead. I kind of feel bad because now his his kid that was, like, hanging out with Bianca. The kid and Bianca. Lucas, I think his name was Lucas. Lucas and Bianca. Their friendship. Their bond. Great. I didn't expect it, but then, like, just seeing it in this episode, I fuck with it. I think they, like, they do vibe in a way, and they do have, like, some shit in common, so it's like, I'm here for it, you know? But I do feel bad now that whoever killed the mayor, and now he doesn't have a dad. So who's gonna be the new mayor? I don't know why that's, like, my first thought. Maybe it's insensitive that I've, since he just died. Who's going to be the new mayor? I don't know. And is Eugene ever going to, like, wake up? Like, that's what I need to know. If he doesn't wake up until, like, the last episode, I'm kind of going to be mad. But then doesn't that mean that... Well, would that mean that he saw who it is? I don't think it would be because he just saw the monster like slash him like I don't think he would have like any answers maybe I don't know but we'll see so I guess 
come back for episode seven.